Welcome to STEM Professionals. In this video, we'll discuss the questions based on chapter 1. And the level of questions would be challenging. Now, the questions will be based on the following topics. The unit conversion and the dimensional analysis. So, let's start with the video. So this is a question which says that type A nerve fibers in human can conduct a nerve impulse at a speed up to 140 meter per second. So speed uh, can be up to 140 meter per second. Now there are two parts. In the A part we have to find that how fast are the nerve impulse in miles per hour. Simply you have to convert the unit. So this is in meter per second. So first we can convert meter into miles, then second into hours. So let's do it. So this is 140 meter per second. Now as uh, one mile is equals to 1609 meter. So we can write this way. Now next second into hour. So one hour, it means three six double zero second so this second and second will cancel this meter and meter will cancel so that would be equals to three one zero mile per hour so this is the answer for the a part similarly we can solve the b part now in the b part we have to tell that how far in meters can the impulse travel in 5 milliseconds so time we are given to be is 5 milliseconds so 5 millisecond means uh, times 10 to the power minus 3 second now a distance we have to calculate so distance is nothing but speed into time so speed we have 140 uh, meter per second so 140 meter per second multiplied with the time which is 5 times 10 to the power minus 3 seconds so that would be equals to 0 0.70 meter so this would be the answer for the b part so this is our next question and you may find that this question to be challenging but i'm sure that after the explanation you'll be comfortable with the solution now, uh, the question says that the NASA's Cassini mission to Saturn was released uh, on 25th December 2004. Now, uh, the prop that was named Huygen was released with the general relative velocity of 31 centimeter per second. Now, uh, the, the speed that we are given with is 31 centimeter per second. And the Huygen moved away from the main spacecraft. It rotated at seven, uh, at a rate of seven revolution per minute. So the RPM, basically, that uh, revolution per minute, we are given to be seven revolution per minute. Now there are two parts in the question. Now in the A part, we have to calculate that how many revolutions had Huygens completed when it was 150 yards from the mothership. Now to understand this question better, we're going to use this video, which is provided by NASA. So he this is NASA's Cassini space uh, craft ready for launch. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lift off of the Cassini spacecraft on a billion mile trek to Saturn. Pitch program is in, roll program is in. We have cleared the tower and the Cassini spacecraft is on its way to Saturn. And here you can see uh, Huygen is separated from the mothership and Huygen is rotating and also moving with a relative velocity of 31 centimeter per second. Now in the A part, we have to calculate how much revolution had Huygens completed when it was 150 yards from the mothership. Now, I hope uh, you might have understand this question uh, better now. Now let's solve this A part. So we have to calculate that uh, the 
number of revolution that it completed now before that we'll be find we're going to find that how much time it took to uh, complete this much of distance now speed we are given this to be uh, 31 centimeter per second and this distance we are given in yards so first we'll convert this speed into yards per second so the speed we have 31 centimeter per second now we know that uh, in one feet we have 30.5 centimeter and in one yard we have three feet so that would be equals to we can see that this uh, centimeter centimeter will cancel feet and feet will cancel we'll get the speed in yard per second so that would be equals to 0 0.3387 yard per second now from here we can easily calculate the time it took to complete this much of distance so that would be distance divided by the speed so uh, distance is 150 yard and speed we have uh, 0 0.3387 yard per second so that would be equals to 443 seconds so this much of time it took now uh, the rpm we are given to be 7 revolution per minute now we have to calculate the total number of uh, revolutions so total revolution in this much of time period it would be equals to first we can convert this uh, this 7 re revolution per minute into 7 revolution per second so 7 revolution now to convert it, it into second we have to divide it with 60 so this is 70 revolution per second and we can multiply it with 443 seconds so this would be the total number of revolution and that comes out to be as uh, 51 point six revolution so the total uh, completed revolution in this much of time frame it will be 51 revolution so this was the answer for the a part now next uh, we're going to solve the b part now in the second part we have to calculate that how far did Huygens move from the mothership during each revolution and we have to give the answer in feet so what this question is asking that for one revolution how much distance does this Huygen uh, traveled and we have to give this answer in feet now uh, what we are given is the uh, rpm is 7 revolution per minute this is what we are given in the equation so 7 revolution per minute now we can convert this minute into second by dividing it with 60 okay let me show the unit conversion also that one minute means 60 seconds now we are also given that in one second the distance traveled is 31 centimeter so we can write that in one second the distance traveled is 31 centimeter like this now next uh, we, have to con we have to give the answer in feet so we can do one thing we can convert centimeter into feet so one feet it means 30.5 centimeter now from here we can see that uh, this minute minute will cancel second second will cancel centimeter centimeter will cancel and we'll get this result to be seven revolution this for this in revolution and here it is feet so revolution per feet this is what we obtained and that is equal to 7 times this is 30.5 divide by 60 times 31 and this would be revolution per feet and that would be equals to 0 0.1147 revolution per feet that means uh, for every one feet we have 0 0.1147 revolution but what we have to calculate we have to calculate that how much uh, this uh, distance is traveled in one revolution so uh, we can use a unitary method here 
so one revolution this would be equals to one feet over 0 0.1147 so that would be equals to 8.7 feet so for every one revolution the distance traveled in feet is 8.7 feet so this is the answer for the B part I hope that you are clear with this solution so this is your next question and here we are given that acceleration is related to velocity and time by this equation now we have to find the power P and Q such that this equation becomes dimensionally consistent the concept is that the equation will be dimensionally consistent when the dimension to the left side of the equation is equals to the right side so here left side we have this acceleration and dimension for acceleration is length over time square it should be equals to now v is velocity so this is length over time this is the dimension to the power p as it is times uh, t is the dimension for time is t to the power q now in the left side we have the power for length is 1 and here we have l uh, to the power p so comparing we can write that p should be equals to 1 now next here the left side the dimension for uh, the power for t is uh, we can write this thing as t to the power minus 2 and here we have uh, this t we can write as q minus p and by comparing we can write that q minus p should be equals to minus 2 now p we have already calculated to be 1 so q minus 1 is equals to minus 2 and from here q would be equals to minus 2 plus 1 which is equals to minus 1 therefore q we have minus 1 and p we have plus 1 so this is our next question and it says that uh, to cover one mile distance you take t time now when you increase the speed by 7.9 miles per hour then to cover the same distance d also remains same in this case the time is decreased by 13 second delta t is decreased by 13 second so this is the question now we have to find the original speed so in this case it was the original speed let it be v now you may find that the problem is very complex but I'm sure that after the explanation you will be comfortable with the solution okay now we we observe one thing that the distance traveled in both the case this is the case one and case 2 the distance travel is 1 mile in both the case so we can compare the distance that not compare we can equate the distance that d1 the distance in case 1 is equals to the distance in case 2 now distance we know it is speed multiplied with time in case 1 speed we have taken as v that we have to calculate in this question original speed times t now time is t in the first case now it is equals to d2 now d2 is also 1 now uh, here the velocity is increased by 7.9 miles per hour so this velocity in this case should be v plus 7.9 we can write velocity this way and time is decreased by 13 second now here one thing is very important that you are writing the uh, the unit for speed is in miles per hour and this time is decreased that we are given is 13 second so if you have to convert this 13 second into hour otherwise the question the solution would be wrong so when time is decreased by 13 second so 13 second means we have to convert it into hour so for that I'm dividing it with 3600 so this much of hour now this equation is dimensionally consistent now next I can write one more equation that for the case one we have distance travel is one mile for uh, the speed v and the time t so we can write that uh, distance d is equals to v times t and distance we have one so we can write that v multiplied with t is equals to one now from this equation we can write 
that v is equals to 1 over t and we can put this value of v here in this equation so this would be equals to this is uh, vt now vt we have 1 so we can put it here this is 1 is equals to now v we have 1 over t so 1 over t plus this is 9.9 7.9 sorry times t as it is minus uh, this is 13 divided by 600 uh, 3600. Now we, here we have only one variable that is t and we can easily find the value of t from here and the value of t from here it will be equals to 0 0.02326 we'll get two values and the next one next value we have uh, negative 0 0.01965 now time cannot be in negative so this value is neglected so we have to take this value so we can put the value of t here in this equation to find the initial speed so v would be equals to 1 over this is 0 0.0236 and that would be equals to uh, nearly 43 miles per hour now you might have a confusion that how this unit we have obtained to be miles per hour because here the time it is in hour only so how this is miles per hour actually we have taken this vt is equals to 1 here 1 is we have we have not written the unit 1 is 1 mile so that is why we obtained the unit as miles per hour so i hope your confusion is being removed now so this is the answer for this question so i hope you understood the solution and now in the next video we'll start with second chapter thank you